Welcome back to Adventures in Rosie and welcome to a little secret location down by the river. This is Mark and Kimberly and their girls, Indy and Sienna, <laughs> and they have asked us to join them here after Music in the Mountains. So how is this for a spot, eh? Um, down by the river, so we're basically camping here. Uh, new friends that we made at Music in the Mountains are camping just behind us there. Um, river is just through there so pretty magic spot um, it's been stinking hot here the last few days um, and where we were at music in the mountains was nice sitting under the awning um, but there wasn't a lot of shade no sort of trees around so we just sat under our awning but ugh, every day just like sticky <laughs> I shouldn't complain it's summer right but um, it's a little bit hotter here than we are used to up north but uh, yeah when you stay by a river hard to complain I guess so we're gonna get all the kids ready blow up some floaties um, little inflatable boat floaty for the twins and we're gonna float down the river how's this for a magic swimming spot yeah. Well, good morning bit of a weird misty morning down here by the river um, but we had a good night nice and peaceful down here um, there is a main road just behind here but um, I don't think it's used all that often you hear the odd truck but not too bad pretty beautiful spot um, today's a work day for me it's uh, Tuesday now yesterday was a public holiday um, but we have no internet uh, or cell service down here and uh, I wondered when this day was going to come um, we're a month in now and this is the first spot maybe the second spot without internet reception so I'm gonna jump in the car go to my office uh, all my computer set up and the router packed up in the car I'm gonna jump in the car cruise back to town it's about 15 minutes and uh, find a spot to park for the morning sit in the boot and uh, do my work All right, moving day today, we're heading into Nelson. Um, we're staying at a campground for a few nights so that we can get some post, uh, get that spare fridge vent like I mentioned and um, some other stuff from home. So kind of um, juxtaposition to where we are. We're going from free camping on the side of a river in the middle of nowhere to a commercial campground. <laughs> uh, but it does mean long hot showers and laundry because we haven't done laundry for a week now. So we're a bit overflowing. Um, had a really great time eh, meeting new people uh, you should go and check these guys out on YouTube as well they're called two kids in a caravan I'll link them down below Facebook as well um, it's quite cool to meet like-minded people um, same age same you know with kids and stuff it's quite cool to meet people like that out on the road we've had a good sort of couple three days down here by the river with them they're heading over to the west coast and we're heading to Nelson so it'd be sad to see them go but I'm sure our paths will cross again in the future hopefully All right, we've made it to Nelson. We're staying in the Tahuna Beach Holiday Park. Um, how perfect is this caravan there? Beach is right there. And they've got a nice big tree above the caravan, which is good. Um, you would have seen on the way, uh, so just as we were leaving actually, or sorry, yesterday, Mark, uh, who we were camping with, Mark said um, that one of our tires was going bald on the outside, um, kind of edge of one of the rear tires of the caravan and uh, he said we should get it checked out I didn't think it was too big a deal but Mark said now nah, get it checked out and so on the way to the campground today we swung past uh, bow repairs and they actually showed me a spot on it where it just about worn through so um, he basically said nah it needs replacing uh, it's gonna just 
go at some stage. So had to get a tire replaced. Um, Sorry, I was so busy talking to you guys that I didn't notice that one of the girls tried to climb up the hill and roll back down. <laughs> She's fine, don't worry. Um, so yeah, got the tire replaced. Um, the other ones look all right. Um, I have read and heard in the past that um, tandem axle caravans, the tires just wear at different rates. The back ones are always subject to that slipping, so they often wear first. And it's all a weight thing, right? If you've got more weight on one side, it's going to wear more on that side. So yeah, just one of those things. Um, we've owned this caravan a year and a half, done a ton of kilometers on it. So yeah, not too big a deal. Wasn't planning to spend 150 bucks on a new tire today, but these things happen. Um, so yeah, we've arrived at Tahuna, got a nice little spot there and we picked up all our mail. So our new fridge vent arrived. I've got to put some screws in that later in the week. And also, um, a bunch of packages from home arrived as well we got them all put in one big courier bag and got them sent down here so yeah pretty good i think we're gonna chill out this afternoon and i got girls climbing the hill again behind me so i gotta run hey 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 hey! all right so before we go down and enjoy the beach in this beautiful campground i do need to do one thing in town first uh, that i've been putting off for a while and that is getting a war and a fitness for the car it doesn't expire for a couple of weeks but we're planning to go up into the marlborough sounds after this we don't know where we're going to be Now's the time to get it done right while we're in a big city. A, a big city, Nelson. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do, do that. Uh, hopefully everything passes and we don't need to, you know, get anything rectified because that would just be a bit awkward. Um, the only downside to getting a Warren Fitness is that we have to pull all the car seats out of the car. Um, those of you with kids will know how much of a pain it is to install car seats, right? They're all tethered. Um, and you find all sorts of crumbs and lovely things underneath them so we're going to pull all the car seats out here dump everything on the ground i'm going to shoot to town and get a warrant hopefully and um come back i might vacuum the car somewhere on the way back get rid of all those uh those uh, kids crumbs under the seats and then then we'll go and enjoy the beach i think Well, the car failed its war in the fitness. <laughs> um, there's some play in the bearings on the front. So jumped around a bunch of mechanics this afternoon. Um, found one, booked it in, uh, in for a week's time. So um, we're gonna pot around the area. It's not too major, but it just needs to be done within a month. So um, pot around the area, maybe got hit up the sounds way a little bit and then got to get that done in a month. So a bit unfortunate, but I guess these things happen, right? Um, it's part of dragging your home around behind your car I guess uh, these things need fixing so yeah um, this whole kind of stay in Nelson has all been about like post and shopping and washing and car warrants and spare tires and all sorts of things so kind of good to get everything kind of reset so when we head up into the sounds for the next month we don't have anything to worry about hopefully um, I think we're gonna chill this afternoon Chas is gonna head down to the beach and um, yeah just enjoy this beautiful Nelson weather Hey guys, so we are here at Tahuna Holiday Park right now. Bronson's working this morning, so the kids and I thought we would have a beach day. Time to get covered in sand. So one of the things we've been working on while we've been away in the caravan is we had enrolled Harvey in Te Kura, which is the New Zealand Correspondence School. And he's only three so he's not doing full on school work, um, but they do an early childhood module which is free if you're a family that's travelling around. So they send him out a pack every term and it's full of puzzles and games and colouring and stuff. and. He got a cool little electricity kit where you learn how to make a circuit and all sorts of really neat stuff, library books. Um, and they also give you access to an online learning system. So there's all these modules that you can go on the website and pick out one to do. So today we picked out one about the coastline. So we're learning about that. Um, it's got lots of questions for us to chat about, about tides and sand and shells and um, 
wildlife that lives on the coastline and all sorts of things. So that is our goal while we're at the beach today. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of interesting comments from Harvey. Alright, well, I've uh, just ticked another job off the list. Um, I've screwed these vents in. Um, screwed the bottom one in, even though it's never come off. And screwed the top one in, just a couple of little white-headed um, screws I found at a hardware store. So, little, they were 13 mil screws. Um, they are just screwed into the plastic, so we'll just have to keep an eye on them. But, yeah, just a bit of peace of mind. I'm not going to lose another vent. Um, we're planning to head into the sounds over the next week. And there's some long, windy gravel roads up there. So perfect opportunity for one of these to pop off so um, yeah hopefully we don't have any fridge vent drums in the future Chelsea and I have both noticed uh, in the last sort of month that Harvey's really come out of his shell when we've been out and about um, he was quite a shy kid um, traditionally and that was one of the reasons we put him in daycare a couple of days a week um, to play with other kids force him to mingle and tonight he's disappeared he's over there somewhere he saw two kids he went over introduced himself threw a ball at them and now they've all disappeared for the evening so pretty cool to see um, he also sleeps really well when he's been running around with kids all afternoon so quite interesting to see the sort of development in the kids just in a short space of time of this lifestyle well thanks for watching i think we'll leave the video there yep uh, we kind of mucked things up a little bit with heading into the sounds mm. we forgot that it was a long weekend <laughs> not really something you consider when you're living in a caravan when yeah. the long weekends are coming up um, <laughs> and everywhere seems to be fully booked. Yeah, so what we did was we added a few extra days here in Nelson to get the car stuff rectified. And um, as a result, we're now Friday before a long weekend, a big public holiday here in New Zealand. So um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is stay a few more nights here now. We're gonna go to the office again and extend our stay a little bit more. <laughs> we're gonna spend the weekend um, cruising around Nelson. So. We'll Check that out in the next video. There's a bunch of stuff here we want to do. Um, it's nice and sunny here. We've got the beach, yeah. right? Plenty yeah. of stuff to do. Yeah. And then Monday afternoon or Monday morning or something, we'll head up into the sounds. Um, so yeah, slight change of plans. <laughs> we didn't think at all. We're just kind of like losing track of the days and going with the flow. And then, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> a couple more days and Nelson won't hurt us. No. Yeah. Okay, well, um, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video exploring Nelson. Yeah. See ya.